My name is Janelle Summerfield, and uh, the work that I do um, is mostly realistic. Uh, some people call it figurative, um, but really I do try to capture moments um, in my life. Um, I mostly work with oil paint. Uh, I had started off with drawing when I first became involved with the arts. Um, I started with drawing, and then from there I went to pastels, and then my mother taught me how to use oil paints. And that's mostly what I do now. Uh, I sort of became addicted to that. So, <laughs> so I don't really work with a lot of other um, types of media yet, but maybe maybe at a later time I will. And mostly I work from photographs uh, because a lot of my work is inspired by, tr by my travels. I don't have a lot of time to stop and paint on site. So I do take a lot of photos and work from those. Uh, and uh, so I guess like I'm kind of a photographer as well, but I don't actually display my photographs anywhere. So maybe someday I will, but not at this time. Mostly I'm inspired by uh, trips that I take. Um, my cat inspires me a lot. Um, interior scenes, like if I go to a restaurant or um, a, you know any place that I visit, um, if there's certain lighting or certain events going on. Um, you know those inspire me a lot. So most of my work is realistic. Um, but it's not photorealistic. It's not. I'm not trying to make it look like a photograph. I I like to have some mystery in the picture. Um, I like it to be somewhat impressionistic, but it's not completely impressionistic. Um, and most of my work actually starts out in an abstract manner and gets more realistic from there. And then I can show you my creative process. <laughs> um, most of my work starts out a little bit abstract, like this one. Um, basically, I just try to fill in like the light areas, the dark areas, and then the colors that are the most important in the picture. Um, from there, I start to get a little bit more detailed. I like in this one. Uh, this one isn't quite finished yet, uh, but it's, you can see I have the brightest brights, the darkest darks, and then some of the colors that are in between. And then I start adding some of the details, like the curve and some of the people. Uh, but I try to start with the big masses of color and like the big forms first, and then work into the smaller areas from there. And then. A painting that is, I would consider finished, would be this one. Um, you know, there's some areas where you know there's really where they're pretty, where it's pretty much unfinished, and then other areas where I do some more detail. Um, but again, I don't like anything to be super photorealistic, so I, I do leave a lot of my paintings unfinished at times. Uh, my hope for the gallery is obviously that it'll succeed. Um, it'll be great to have a place here where all of the area area artists can display and sell their work. Uh, right now we don't really have uh, a lot of places to do that. We used to have an arts festival and um, some other events, but really I think there needs to be a place that is solely dedicated to art. Um, we have a lot of great coffee shops and things like that, places where we can sell our art, but I think that it's important to have a gallery or some place that's totally dedicated to art where people know they can go and see the great art because we do have a lot of very talented people in this area. It's cool that we can all get together and display our work together.